a Jesuit priest who lived with homeless people for 20 years and is their voice in Ireland, will be awarded Dublin's highest recognition this month. Father Peter McVerry joins personalities like John F. Kennedy, Mother Teresa and Bono as a freeman of the city of Dublin. I see it as an opportunity to highlight the issue of homelessness again because homelessness is in crisis. I went into care when I was 11 and then I became homeless when I was 13. So I ended up in Dublin in the hostels and that's the way it's been ever since. The traditional image we have of homeless people is of drug users or alcoholics. or That's changing now. The vast majority of people who are becoming homeless are ordinary working class people or even middle class people who can no longer afford to pay their rents. As a young Jesuit in the early 1970s, Father McFerry went to live in inner city Dublin. There he came face to face with social deprivation. Then we encountered a nine-year-old kid sleeping on the street. So we said, gosh, we have to do something for him and others like him. So we opened a small hostel. Here we are 35 years later, we have 12 hostels, three for under 18s and the rest for over 18s. We have about 100 apartments for more long-term living. We have four drug treatment programs uh, and a drop-in centre, which is where I'm based. It was raining all day, so you have nowhere to go, yeah? From now to pay to my credit, I never refuse. I really do enjoy working with homeless people because I think behind the image that people have of homelessness, you have really very wonderful persons uh, and very resilient persons. I may pay to my credit basically the last 20 years and um, I've really got, I've only really got my act together in the last two and a half, three years. I got myself off drugs and now I do talks for him because he took me in and this is my way of telling him thank you. If I stop one student from going down the road I went down, yeah. I'd be a happy man. The Jesuit from Newry feels affirmed in his work by his fellow Jesuit, Pope Francis, who is constantly calling the church to reach out to those on the margins. So I think Francis has brought us back to the Gospels, back to a, a God who is compassion. Uh, Jesus preached a God who is compassion. Uh, and Jesus wa revealed in his own life the God of compassion. Father Peter McVerry will be awarded the Freedom of Dublin on the 22nd of March 2014. This is Susan Gately for Catholic News Service, Sherrod Street in Dublin.